Hello friends, in this video we'll compare some of the important facts about Dogo Argentino vs Pitbull Terrier. Which is the most powerful? Let's jump on it. Temperament They're identified to be remarkably loyal and protective of their partners and they're also very devoted and playful with their individuals. They can do great with kids if they develop with them, but there can be interest with the Dogo and small children. On the other hand, most pit bull terriers manifest some level of dog aggression and its powerful physique, but it produces lovely family associates and has unceasingly been noted for their children's enjoyment. Aggressive behavior towards humans is untypical of the breed and highly inconvenient. However, pit bull isn't generally aggressive towards folks and is lovable towards children. Muscularity the Dogo Argentino is a large, powerful, and athletic dog. His strong head is supported by a thick but elegant neck that correlates to a balanced body. Sustained by straight, substantial forelegs and very muscular, medium, angulated hindquarters. On the other hand, pit bulls are a popular breed for canine bodybuilding, praising it as a healthy option to dog fighting. This breed is widespread in canine strength competitions and associates now have a legal outlet to confirm that their canine is genuinely the top dog of muscles and endurance. Bite Force This dog breed can have a bite force of 500 PSI, so the intensity of the jaw is considered meaningful. One thing that has to be considered is that these dogs are hunters and like games. On the other hand, pit bulls are moderately easy to train, which lessens the hazard of dog bites. It's frequently overlooked that they must be taught what to do and not to do, which presents them better. It's essential to note that pit bulls have a dog's bite force of 235 PSI, which isn't the most vital bite force out there. Child Friendly Dogo Argentino does very great with children. They will observe over them like a nanny and are very protective of them. They tolerate children's ungrateful behavior as well, like pulling and pinching. They're very friendly dogs. Their playtime and interaction should always be conducted. On the other hand, pit bulls are great with children if trained and socialized properly from a young age. Just as is the case for many breed. Pit bulls are commonly very affectionate, obedient, and loyal to their partners. They love to play and cuddle, which presents them as excellent companions for kids. Grooming Needs Grooming the Dogo is easy because of its short coat, though his large size means it's a big job. A bath every three months or when he's dirty in a mild dog shampoo is a good approach. Brush his sleek coat with a natural bristle brush or mitt once a week. Use coat conditioner to brighten the sheen. On the other hand, the Pitbull Terrier's short coat doesn't need frequent grooming. Alternatively, they'll thrive with a regular bath, brush, and nail trim. A healthy coat depends on the aggregate of a healthy diet and weekly brushing routine. You'll have to brush his fur and coat more frequently a few times a week. They ordinarily have short skin and average shedding. Exercise Needs Argentine Dogos are athletic and require lots of exercise to be fully stimulated physically and mentally. Hiking is an exceptional way to approach these two requirements. A lengthy walk or hike in the outdoors supports your dog in shape and the new environment. On the other hand, pit bulls require a significant amount of exercise to be happy and stay healthy. Aim for one to two hours every day. It should incorporate everyday walks, free time play, and sports such as running or hiking. Make sure that this time consists of activities your dog participates in together with you. It's not sufficient to open the door to the yard and hope that your dog will entertain himself. Health Conditions While ordinarily considered to be healthier than different breeds of their size, the Dogo Argentino is more inclined to certain health diseases than additional dogs. That's including hip dysplasia, autoimmune thyroiditis, and deafness. The breed may also be inclined to allergies or other skin difficulties. On the other hand, the pit bull suffers from bone conditions such as hip dysplasia, degenerative myelopathy, and kneecap dislocation. Because of its short coat, the pit bull can also undergo skin problems such as mange and skin allergies. Other health diseases seen in pit bulls include thyroid and congenital heart defects. So, who's the winner? Please choose your winner by commenting below. Thank you.